Welcome. In this video, we're going to teach your text how to ride the line. That is, we're going to show you how to attach text to a path. Now, the way this works is by assigning a path to a particular line of text. So, first thing we need to do is start with some type of path. Now, a path is a vector thing, so I thought that was Illustrator. Well, Photoshop has a bunch of uh, Illustrator vector tools as well. If you look at it, down here in this section here, these are where they all are. You'll see that they look pretty familiar. You have the uh, pen, the freeform pen, uh, the anchor point uh, addition tool, and the delete anchor point and the convert point tool, which is something very important. You'll also see that the typeface is in this section as well, and there's a few different types of type. You can do horizontal, vertical, uh, horizontal mask, and vertical mask. Both of these create selections. Then you also have the path selection tool and the direct selection tool. And below that you have shape tools. And all the shape tools are very familiar as well. And the custom shape tool actually has tons of shapes inside it. These are just some of them. So anyway, what I wanted to do was show you how to get our text to ride on a path. Well, the first thing we need to do is get a path. So I'm going to start with my pen tool. And this works just like it did in uh, Illustrator. Now the pen tool has three different modes. It's got uh, the shape layer, the paths, and then this fill pixels mode is denied on the pen tool, although it still shows up on its toolbar. So you can start with the pen tool in the path mode, and if I were to start drawing upwards and dragging, it's going to work just like it did in Illustrator. Now once you make your path, you just switch over to your type tool, once your type tool gets near your path, it's going to change from a box to a little squiggly line. Looks like a tilde crossing through. And we're going to tap on it. And wherever you tap, it's going to start typing. Now this is a uh, left uh, aligned text. So it will be left aligned. All right. If I were to, say, have another path, and I can actually use the same path tool, and I'm going to shift this over you see how that moves the text along the path lets it ride over it okay I can also make it shift to the other side by dragging downward you see how the arrow jump the other way right okay now um, once you get the path uh, aligned to the text you'll notice that the paths kind of sit differently over in your paths panel uh, not to be alarmed let's say I want to go ahead and draw another path I'm going to go ahead and draw another path similar to that one. All right? And this one here, I'm going to click on my type tool. But before I go, I'm going to change it to center align. So I'm going to put it in the center. And this is centered. So you can see how that went out from the center. So depending on what you choose up here, it will change the uh, way the text looks. Now, while it's a T layer or type layer, you can always highlight it and change the font and stuff like that make it bolder bigger or smaller you can play with it however you want now you can also make um, text follow a path that comes from a shape if I go in here and say get the ellipse tool right and make sure it's not in fill pixels and I don't want it to be in a shape layer I want it to be in a path mode I'm just gonna draw my little circle then I can take my type tool and when I get near it, I can start typing. This is going to go around the circle. Oh, I lost my type. No problem. I'll just hit left and shift until it selects my whole type. And we'll make it fit by reducing the size of my font. And look, it now goes around the circle. So anyway, I want you to see if you can um, play with uh, the way you can attach type to paths. Probably do a few more. There are so many different shapes you can go in here. you got the polygon tool, rectangle, um, the custom shape tool has tons of different shapes you can create. Just make sure you're always in that path mode so that you can then attach your type to the path and make it how you like it. And that's it for this video.